Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name is Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. And today I'm going to show you how to use your uh, video stream from a Hikvision intercom on a third party device. Now I'll just very quickly explain the problem. If you want to get a straight solution, just skip ahead. I've put chapters in this video. But basically, if I share my screen with you now, this is a Hikvision intercom camera and I am in configuration, network, advanced settings. And then if I go to integration protocol, which I've done here, you can enable that and give a username and password. And then basically that means that you are able to use the Hikvision camera with OnViv compatible devices, which is pretty much anything. So third party MVRs, things like Home Assistant, um, Ajax, all these kind of products allow you to use OnViv compatible devices. But if I now go across to the intercom, I'm also in configuration, I'm also in network and advanced, and you can see that we've got significantly less options. We've only got FTP and platform access, and that is it. There is no opportunity to add a username and password for OnViv. Strangely, if you do a scan of OnViv devices on your network, you will see the intercom, so it looks like you should be able to connect it, but there's no way of getting that username and password added to enable you to use it as an OnViv device. If you try to admin username and password, it doesn't work. However, the good news is there's another way of doing this. So what I'm gonna show you is how to get the RTSP feed from the Hikvision intercom. It's pretty simple. You need a couple of things. The first thing you need to know is the IP address of your uh, Hikvision intercom. And by that, I mean the outdoor station, not your indoor station, not the screen, the outdoor station. So this is the actual intercom unit itself. It's very easy to get that. You, um, you can easily just go to the screen and get that IP address to so the indoor station. Go in there and I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so here's my indoor station. I'm going to press settings then down the bottom here, press this little button and go to configuration. Then I'll put in my password. And once you put in the password, you just click on the button below the network and you'll see your main station IP address and that's it there. Okay, so once you've got that IP address, the next thing you need is the username and password. Now I'm just using the admin username and password. I believe you can create another account on there and use that as well. I haven't actually tried that, but I don't, don't think it has to be the admin username and password. The last thing I recommend uh, doing is downloading VLC player. This enables us to check the RTSP feed of before we use it on third party devices. It's very useful. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Now we've got that, those details. I'm just gonna bring up a text document here on pages on my Mac. And basically you can see here exactly what I'm talking about. So this is the uh, fee, this is what we want to create basically. So the details in blue are the details that you will need to change. So you create the link by going RTSP, full colon, uh, two forward slashes, and then your username. So that's your, whatever your username is, might be just admin, a full colon, and then your password. Again, it might be the admin password at, and then this where it says your IP address, that means the IP address of the cam of the intercom the outdoor station, not the indoor station. So you create that, put that in there. Your RTSP feed is likely to be 554. If you have changed it, you can always just check that. I'll show you how to do that now. If we go to uh, back to network on the, uh, on the intercom, we can go to basic settings and then just good. Sorry, my mouse has been a bit sluggish. Uh, look at the port and there you can see it says RTSP port and this one's set to 554. If you've changed that, then you need to make sure it's the same as that number there. All right, so let's go back to here. So then we've got that and then for pretty much everyone, it's gonna be forward slash streaming, forward slash channel, forward slash 101, forward slash. That is your RTSP feed. And basically once you've created that, you will be able to use this with third party devices, but it's best to check this first. So what I like to do is just, I've got my link here, so I'm just gonna copy this. And then I can open Safari, which is the browser I'm using here. Sorry, again, my mouse has been a pain. Um, and I can just paste that straight into um, the browser bar here. Now Safari itself can't open it, but because I've got VLC player, when I press enter, it will ask me, if I can, if it can open it in VLC. So I'll allow that. VLC will open, just take a second. And there you go. That is, let me just move that into shot. 
that is my camera feed so that is the that is my intercom here i've got a kind of uh, the hikvision uh, doorbell intercom here um, and it's giving you the video but you can also hear it's giving the audio as well which it should do because it's the intercom so that's our live feed now we've got that link we can use it in pretty much everything anything we want any third party device that accepts rtsp some examples where i've used it are on ajax home assistant and I'm going to be trying it on Uniview. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm pretty sure I can uh, can use this link as well. I hope this video has been helpful. It's been a bit of a head scratcher for me. Um, initially, the Hitch Vision Intercom and how it didn't have that on vid, but this is a way of getting around it, and it's really quite useful. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.